Hey kids, in this episode, uh, again, another blast from the past. We're uh, looking at some footage that we shot for our Travelers in Paradise television show a number of years ago. But in this episode, we're looking at some really cool technology for sailboats. It's called the Electrosan, and it's a way to deal with human waste aboard sailboats. It's the most ecologically sound way to deal with that and to treat septic on the boat so you can discharge it and discharge clear water without any uh, problems. So, pretty cool technology. Why don't you take a look? In the BVIs, there are mooring balls everywhere for you to tie up to, and there are certain rules when you tie up to a mooring ball. For instance, there's different colors on the mooring balls that indicate what use they're supposed to be for. Also, there's marine sanctuaries down here, and you cannot stay overnight on the mooring balls in marine sanctuaries. We decided to grab a mooring ball one night, and we decided to stay over at Sandy Ledges. This is a interesting little convenience site. It's right next to the caves outside on the south shore of Norman Island, but it's really convenient to the Indians, which is a dive site we were going to dive the next day. And we were really shocked and disappointed with what we found in the water. As soon as we jumped in, we noticed that there was evidence everywhere that this was once a really nice, big, mature, pristine coral reef, and now it was just all dead. It was, there was some little juvenile fish, but all the coral was dead covered in algae, it was pretty sad. It was sad. What was interesting is that all the coral was still there. I mean, the, the physical structure was there. And if it was a hurricane, the hurricane would have broken all the coral, so it hadn't been hurricane damage. Yeah, it wasn't a hurricane damage. It, it, was, it was just the coral was there, it was just dead. It had no life on it. Now, we've actually seen this before. Mm -hmm. In places where there's a lot of fertilizer use, the, the fertilizers get washed into the water, agricultural runoff, rainwater runoff, and the nitrogens in the fertilizer will kill the coral and cause the algae to bloom. Well, that's how it kills the coral. The nitrogen added to the soil, it's just like your yard. You put nitrogen down to make your grass grow. But when you do that to the ocean, it makes the algae grow, and when that algae grows, mm -hmm. it, it, what does it do to the coral? It kills the coral, and, and it, there's some bad algaes out there, isn't there? Yeah. Some algae can actually release a neurotoxins into the water, which will kill fish and birds, and um, all algae will actually take down the oxygen levels in the water, and fish need the oxygen to be able to breathe. Well, that's right, and, and that's what we decided had happened here. There wasn't any evidence of any kind of agricultural activity there on the island. There's no, certainly no golf courses, there's no houses on there, there's, there's no farming going on. So the only way nitrogen could have been introduced was actually from the yachts, from the from the charter boats that came there and, and grabbed the mooring balls. And of course, you know, you have boats every night grabbing the same mooring ball night after night after night, and they're all there flushing their toilets. So you're kind of concentrating a, a large amount of nitrogen in that one area. Well, this is brought on by the fact that they don't use, a lot of people don't use their holding tanks. And, that, and how simple it would be to fix that. Yep, it's usually just a little switch you have to flip and suddenly you'll be pumping into your holding tank instead and then you just pump your holding tank out when you get back to the dock, but a lot of people don't do that, and so every time they wash dishes, take a shower, flush a toilet, all that water gets flushed directly from their boat into the water. And that's exactly what we determined was the cause here. So, you know, no one was doing anything mean, nasty. There was no big industry to blame here. It was just simple, you know, not paying attention. So when you're gonna go charter a boat, if you're buying your own sailboat, make sure you've got a good holding tank, make sure your plumbing's working correctly. And actually, if you can, they have these new systems, these new waste management systems, uh, like the Electrosan, mm -hmm. that actually breaks down the affluent. It uses uh, an electrical charge, so it takes salt water in from the ocean, clean salt water. It electronically breaks down the molecules. Now, you know mm -hmm. the chemist, Lacey, what's the breakdown? Salt in the salt water, it contains uh, chlorine and sodium. Sodium, so it, se it separates the chlorine from the sodium. And then it uses that chlorine, which as I understand it is 30 times more powerful than you like your bottles of Clorox. Uh -huh. It separates that chlorine, it uses that to then clean all the affluent that goes through the electrosan mm -hmm. unit, and, it, and then it bonds that chlorine back to the sodium. Then when it pumps it all out, you're, water again. you're just returning the salt water, and now your, your waste is completely sterilized, so it's not going to be damaging the reef. And these are a great little system you can add on your boat. They can be powered by a solar panel. So not only are you not polluting the water, but you're not burning any fossil fuels. They're just a really cool yeah, system. And they don't add any chemicals, so you don't have to worry about chemical runoff from your boat. And they're pretty affordable. What'd you say they are? Uh, about $2,000 to buy one and have it installed in your boat. So it, it's a really nice system. So if you're gonna go out and charter a sailboat, think about this coral reef that we're looking at here at Sandy Ledges. Look how much different this coral reef is than say over at the Indians, which is not that far away, but yet it's a place where it's a national park sanctuary. Mm -hmm. 
You're not allowed to be there overnight. Here you're allowed to be overnight. It's just a simple matter of just not pumping your waste over. Stay tuned, when we come back, we'll show you just what a little bit of conservation can do. Well, I hope you found that as interesting as I did. I know it's not the most thrilling thing to be talking about, but the fact is, it's a reality that we all have to deal with. You know, the solution by dilution just doesn't work anymore. We're reaching toxic levels in all the waterways in the world. So maybe the electrosam might be a way for people to look at disposing of their waste so we quit polluting as much as we do into the water. Anyhow, if you like this thing, please do like and subscribe. We'll have more for you later. Thanks.